Yo, yo, what is going on, people? How are we doing? I just thought I would come on here and have a little chat just because there are a few things that I've been deliberating of late with regards to YouTube and making videos. I'm going to apologise for the bells in the background that have started literally as I started to record this. So if you take a look down my YouTube channel, you will notice that it's quite sporadic, both in terms of like the specific type of content that I've been making and also the upload schedule being that there isn't an upload schedule. Now it's pretty widely known that if you want to sort of grow an audience on YouTube, you kind of want to like pick a niche and make videos that stick to that specific niche and you know upload frequently and I guess maybe with the last couple of videos that I've done I've maybe been trying to at least sort of tailor the thumbnail a little bit and like the title so that people will want to click on it but it's difficult when you're just doing like if, I, if I'm doing the travel type stuff it's quite easy because it's a video about you doing a specific thing but if I'm just doing like day-to-day -day vlog bits if I titled the video something to do with one specific thing that happens in the video that might be like more like clickable then you're going to be disappointed when you click on the video and find out that that's only like one minute worth of the 15 minute runtime and it happens seven minutes in you know what i mean so what i have decided is essentially to just make whatever the fuck i want and that's kind of what i've been doing anyway but i was kind of feeling a bit pressured to because let's face it like i i want to grow this channel it'd be nice to have a, to have a bigger channel um so i was kind of feeling the pressure to tailor what i was doing to a potential audience just to get subscribers or views or whatever but i've decided i don't really give a fuck about that it'd be nice to have a big audience it'd be sick and obviously when i make these things i want people to watch my videos however the if you go back and watch the very first video i uploaded the whole point of this channel was just for me to document stuff like i started it last year when i was doing a lot of travel and i just wanted to uh sort of make something that I could look back on but also that maybe people could also look back on and enjoy and it might be a bit informative or whatever so I think I'm just going to do my best to document the sick things that happen in life and be optimistic about it rather than turning it into yet another thing that I think of as like a potential uh I don't know like venture or like a potential way to grow an audience for myself or maybe make money out of it one day or whatever because like realistically my day-to-day -day life isn't crazy and therefore there's nothing that i can use as like clickbait to get people on to watching the video it's just occasionally vibes and obviously i'll, I'll keep doing like the travel stuff i'm currently in berlin which is why i'm in this park so the, there'll probably already be a berlin video up on my channel but yeah man from now on it's gonna be no it's gonna be very low pressure, very low energy. Pretty much what it was meant to be from the start. Pretty much what it always has been, but it's just I got in my own head about it. And uh, I feel like when I get in those those sort of modes where I feel like compelled to make videos for certain reasons, it just makes me not want to make videos, which is why I haven't uploaded in like two months. So yeah, like I say, Berlin vlog, probably already up on the channel. If not, incoming very soon. I'm going to finish this video off with just a string of clips because I, I still film stuff even when I'm not specifically trying to make a video um, so here's a few things that I've been up to lately I'll catch you in the next one This is our yearly pumpkin picking trip that we do before every Halloween. Now, the key to pumpkin selection is variety. You get a shitload and then you fucking put a load back afterwards, <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we only need two. But you just pick them up when you see good ones. You just can always put them back down like that. Ah, what's a bush? Good ones there, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I get one of those. Pick those. Look at all, look at all those pumpkins. We also realised the first year we did it, we carved them. It's fucking hard to carve pumpkins, so last year we just painted them, which is, seems like a better alternative. Oh, you want to you carve yours? Yeah. Good, 
think we've acquired our pumpkins. But, uh, let's check in with the little cheese, see what she's saying. Are these the ones? Yeah. So we've got a big boy that I'm going to paint this bumpy looking motherfucker that she's going to carve out and then hidden somewhere under there. There's like a tiny, a tiny one. one. Tiny little one. Where's the tiny one at? Like a little, little orange sized one that we're going to paint as well, I think. Pumpkin. Uh, be a pumpkin. It looks just like a pumpkin. <laughs> That's sick. Just eating the whole thing. Yeah. Morning, people. It's currently my birthday. The big two five. The reason I'm filming today is because Abby is currently upstairs preparing my birthday presents. Look at that. Bear dead. Birthday presents. Right. And she's been there for five minutes. I assume displaying them. I have no idea what the fuck she's got. But I'm going to film my reaction because I imagine it's going to be something a bit fucking weird. <laughs> That's sick. Is that a Batman? A Batman balloon? I thought, didn't you say you tried to get this and then couldn't get this? It was a different balloon. Okay, sick. There's so, there's, a, look, is that protein bars? It's a protein bar bouquet. That's <laughs> And then there's pictures of me everywhere. That's so sick. Oh, thanks, babe. So the, the, uh, the gag was 25 presents for 25 years. So some of the highlights being, first of all, this bouquet of protein bars. <laughs> Fucking popcorn, new blender, hat, different hat. These are the uh, the PS de Resistance. I thought these were sick since they were popular, whenever that was, 2018. <laughs> and I don't know how you've managed to find like fresh ones because I'm convinced that they don't still make them. Tommy Garcon t-shirt, Wagamama's like cookbook, bubble tea, off Abby's mum. Travel money, also off Abby's mum. I'm Peter. I'm, well, I'm Peter, yeah. For incoming um, Berlin trip. See ya! Dad's on his way home. It's hard to do a sideways video of your outfit. I'll have to pan. Pan. New preps. Prep check. <laughs> Right, so get on this. I was in Tesco the other day and I saw this protein coffee, mate. This is either going to be like a game changer or absolutely shit. I feel like it's going to be absolutely shit. Like, have we gone too far with the putting protein and fucking everything? Let's have a taste. 18 grams of protein. 88 milligrams of caffeine. It's actually not bad, you know. It just tastes like a pretty much like a regular one of these like cafe latte things. That could be a game changer, you know. Fair, fair folks. Fair folks. I, I didn't think I was going to rate it, but it is fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm less dead. Because I got here late. But still, fairly twatted. Today we are going to puppy yoga, which is, I'm suspecting as adorable as it sounds. Essentially you just hang out with puppies for a bit and then you do yoga while they run around you, I guess. I don't know, Abby's done it before. We're doing it with German Shepherd puppies. It's going to be sick. So I think that's what my, my soul needs right now. We'll catch up on the other side. Bye-bye. 